Welcome to another weekend with your favorite Shuttle YouTuber. <laughs> I'm going to take you along on a little weekend getaway in Charente Limousin. It's probably going to rain a lot, but we're gonna have fun anyway. I am Amadeus, and I'm renovating a 13th century chateau. To be all honest with you, it's just a house. And you're watching my vlog about my new life in France. Please. That's the one I took and I'm gonna put it next to the garage doors. So just passed by the Serre de Biennac as well and got a lot of things, a lot of tomatoes and I think aubergine and poivrons, so peppers and the um, peaks for it so that we can, that the tomatoes can climb on top of them. Oh, so much stuff! <laughs> Did another quick stop in Rochechoir at the Intermarché to get some stuff that I still needed for the electrics of the solar panels that we're going to do. And um, yes, Alexi just went into the supermarket really quickly because he wanted to buy champagne because he had a moment of shock today. And then he said like, oh, let's celebrate because it all got sorted out. So I'm gonna have champagne at the shot I tried. <laughs> And I got a one more other important thing, finally, that I will tell you about once I'm inside and un unloaded the car. <laughs> so I was talking in the car about um, that I got something really important and it's my carte electorale. So for anyone not knowing what this is, it's basically my card that I can go voting with. So this is really, really important because I'm a European citizen. I have the German and a Polish citizenship and um, obviously I live in France so <laughs> I get issued a carte électorale and I can go and vote for the small votes not for the big votes I can't vote for uh, the president or the parliament here in France but what I can vote is for um, the council for example and for the mayor and I can vote for all European elections which are coming up in May so um, just got my little card electoral and I can go and vote with this for the next European elections, which is really, really important. So wherever you are in the world, I would always encourage you to vote and be part of the democratic system because it's all of us who make it happen. Well, enough of that. I was um, talking about the champagne. Here it is. I'm going to put it in the freezer. Um, because I think we'd like to have it as soon as possible. And um, yeah, we got, we just went to Grand Frais, you know, my favorite supermarket um, in France and got a few things. And um, we are going to make a curry tonight, a really simple um, Masaman inspired curry, which is not going to be a perfect Masaman curry. Um, got some nibbles. Yeah, that's, that's it for the start of the weekend. It's Friday today and you're watching on Wednesday probably if you're watching this video live. Freshly baked bread in the morning. The table. Um. This bread looks so gorgeous and beautiful. Mm. Good morning. <laughs> so, yep, just had bread make, the bread maker make bread overnight and it worked really well. So I'm actually thinking about something like this for the console maybe. 
to extend it when there's more people and to shorten it when just have a round table when it's just us. <laughs> So as you could see, we were just out and about. Um, we went to Chesney first to get some stuff because Alexi is having lunch with his aunt and um, got some dentist sticks for the doggies. And uh, both dogs are staying with me. He's coming back after lunch. And then we'll see. Um, I actually want to tackle another project, which is the gates of the garage, which you will be seeing as a separate video actually on Sunday. So yay, <laughs> just creating lots and lots of content because also one of my very best friends is coming on Tuesday next week um, and we're going to pick her up from Angoulême and we're going to spend some time. We're also going to go to Ile de Ré. So there's going to be lots of fun things we're planning and we're going to do on the vlogs. But now I'll have some lunch which is good i'll just had heat up some leftover i made a thai curry last night i'm just gonna heat it up eat it and then i'll try to figure out how to go about the whole garage thing at lunch and now we're heading outside because i want to still in lunch break um actually because i can't make so much noise until two i want to use the time and go ahead and already put in the rose that we bought yesterday you know, like this, it's already like in the ground. So that one's planted right here. And it's a Claire Austin by David Austin, like I said. And it can grow apparently up to four meters, so. The other plan is to let it grow up until the window and then over the garage. It would be so beautiful. And then have the clematis, which is there, also climb up and go along. <laughs> I have an obsession for everything that's climbing, I guess. Do you see this? This is the cafetier. <laughs> um, I'm trying to make a little visualization of um, the electric or the electrical works that need to be done um, in the garage for the solar panels to be connected. I just wanted to sit down and do this quickly and consult with my dad if he thinks that's the right way to go about it. I am so lucky to have my father who I can always consult with um, when I'm doing stuff because he can I mean, he's an engineer, so, and he did a lot of stuff around uh, my parents' house, so he really knows his stuff and he knows how to research, he knows how to look up things. So I can always ask him. <laughs> Sometimes it might be a bit lengthy from time to time, but you know what? It is what it is. We have all the info we need, and I just don't want to continue doing this stuff right now. Now continue working on the video for Sunday with renewing the gate um, for the garage. And then probably it's gonna be like already time is flying, it's two. It's just going to look so fabulous. Watch out for Sunday's video because I'm looking at it and it's like just the first coat is on. I mean, look at me. <laughs> And you'll know all about it. But for now, it is 6.31 and I want to water these babies and then put them back here. All right, I'm changing back into my other clothes. And Alexi is coming down so that we can take the doggies on a little walk at least um, because they haven't been out today a lot since we've been in the Procompte and around and shopping for the garage door and all those kinds of things. So yeah, the doggies fell a bit short today, but 
we're gonna take care of this now. And um, I think I'd also just like, I think I should, I'm not sure, do I still have beer? I'm not sure, I really feel like I wanna have a drink. <laughs> I made myself a little glass of Pinot, which is a local specialty from, from <laughs> that sounded very German, from Charente. And um, yeah, gonna enjoy that. So just to explain, Pinot is a byproduct of the cognac production. Usually they take the grape must from most, most, you call it most, right? The leftover grapes, basically. And they add eau de vie, which is the base of the cognac. And with this, this gets fermented. And this creates Pinot, which is kind of like a liquor. It's, you can compare it almost to a port wine. And it's a very, very local thing. We do live in such a beautiful, beautiful surrounding. It's just like each time. I'm so thankful for it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna just have a nice, calm evening, making some food, sitting down. I'm really, really tired from working today. I've really, like, I managed to do a lot of stuff, like, especially with the current door. You'll see. <laughs> I mean, there's still some stuff to be done. But all in all, I've made the big stuff in like just a few hours, but I really cracked on and I really pushed for it. And I just really feel it in my body now. <laughs> so I shall see you tomorrow. Let's see what we'll do tomorrow. I'm not really sure. Well, 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 good morning. It is a pretty beautiful um, morning. These people just honk through the village. I don't know who they are. <laughs> I was very irritated, um, but yeah. I think today we want to do a second coat um, of paint on the garage doors, which you will see in Sunday's video. <laughs> and we will uh, tackle the garden, which you will see in this video. <laughs> because we bought all the stuff, to remember? So yeah, that's kind of the plan for today. The weather is going up and down and back and forth. And it's really like, today it's pretty, but then the next few days is gonna be hideous and cold again. And I researched it, and it's actually a phenomenon called El Nino that's happening in the Pacific Ocean. And I mean, you've heard probably of El Nino. So it's causing in the Pacific everything to be a bit warmer, but this causes other weather structures around the whole globe to change. And this means it pushes all the bad weather and all the cold into the southwest of Europe, where we are, <laughs> obviously. And also this climate change that's also changing the temperatures of the Atlantic. So this also slows down some of the Gulf Stream. And yeah, that's it. That's why we have hideous weather here. But it is a phenomenon that um, in the end is temporary and is nothing that's forever. But before we get to planting and anything, we actually have to... I completely forgot. I had already filmed the whole video for this week, obviously. I mean, for Sunday. It is Sunday today. But I completely forgot to edit it. So I'm gonna edit that video and upload it. I already had the thumbnail and everything. I don't know. Sometimes I'm, I work in mysterious ways sometimes. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit down, edit this video, and I'll see you on the other side. got four different tomatoes. Don't even remember all of their names. <laughs> and I've got two aubergines, two um, peppers, and um, yeah, we've got other peppers also already as seedlings. And um, yeah, we planted all of these things first. What we didn't plant yet is the cauliflower, which, and the courgette, which will probably be eaten by the snails if we put them in now. So we're gonna have to wait. 
healthy. That's two tomatoes, lots of new salads, pepper, pepper, aubergine, tomato. We're, we don't need to start eating those salads because they are looking better and better. And those are, um, hmm, how do you call them? Don't even know, spring onion, yeah. And then tomato, aubergine, and broad beans. And once the broad beans are done, they're just gonna die. They're gonna go back into the ground and we'll use them as the mulch for probably um, either squash or something like that. It is with Monday morning and it is horrible outside. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's like raining and raining and raining and raining and this rain won't go away. And as I explained, um, it's for this weather phenomenon that's happening in the Pacific Ocean, actually. Um, but I thought today we'll do the electrics in the garage. And since it's raining, can use that time to do it. And I think I can paint the garage door on the other side. So um, I'll just film a bit of that and then we'll have this vlog come to an end because I think it's quite a long vlog now. At least it really feels like one, like a really long one. <laughs> so I'm not gonna bore you with any <laughs> electrical setup stuff, but um, what I'm planning to do is I still have these leftover cables that at one point led back to the pool pump back there. Oh, I keep on turning so much. <laughs> and um, these I don't need because they've been disconnected from the pool pump, but they're really good broad cables because what I need is to connect this basically, um, which is the main switch um, basically for those next few ones where we're going to connect the solar panels to, to go to this main main switch of the house basically. For this we'll need to turn off the electricity and everything, but we'll also need four millimeter cables, so really thick, good cables. And they've used like really big cables here, so I can just recycle those cables and use them here. Cutting the electricity. Oh, honestly, I'm kind of, Afraid to embarrass myself on camera, but I think we've got everything connected now. Now it's a matter of turning it on. Mm. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. <gasps> Nothing exploded! <laughs> so it looks like we're on. I managed to set it all up and it's done. Now I just need to connect the solar panels. I checked, cross-checked before and um, researched if I could already put everything on and it said it's all fine. It just won't work, obviously, if there's no solar panels connected. So <clears throat> that's the only thing that needs to happen now. So hoping and praying that it will work tomorrow for them to come. You'll see in the, it in the next vlog because now I just want to get rid of all this mess or like clean out a bit because I've just left everything here for the electrical installation and now that this is done and set I will concentrate on getting everything sorted in here so it's nice and orderly and um, I would say let's call it a vlog. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and for joining in. I hope you had fun. I know that my last vlog was a bit depressing and I'm thanking you from the bottom of my heart for all your lovely, lovely comments. Thank you so, so much. And I really appreciate you being part of my community and my su also my support system and vice versa. So um, let's hope for another million videos <laughs> where we can help each other. And um, until then, all that's left to say is à bientôt et au revoir et bisous from the southwest of France. Bye!